Hey guys, I want to share a quick video of a deck restoration project I'm starting on a budget. The reason it's on a budget because it's too expensive to rebuild a deck right now with the lumber prices. Uh, this deck would be four times more than it should cost. So that will happen probably in a year or two. But we're gonna replace all these as it's not pressure treated wood, so it's getting rotten. These guys we're gonna save, clean up, and repaint. Um, we're gonna we power wash this couple weeks ago. Uh, this step is gonna get replaced. These actually come already pre-cut the right size, so we just pop this out and pop the new one in. So that's not gonna be hard. The biggest issue with this deck that really needs to be rebuilt is the condition of it. But uh, we're going to sand this down, wire brush it, maybe even hit it with a hot torch, uh, propane torch to burn off the excess paint and then I'll brush it all down uh, so I can get the best paint adhesion possible. I want this to last for about a year or two at least, you know, because uh, right now it's just terrible. This whole section here we're going to replace as this is done. Uh, it's still moist and there hasn't been any rain in over a week. Uh, this is where my grill stands, so that's got to go. But this is what I was talking about, these. Uh, this is not the proper wood used here. We got, we're gonna replace this with a pressure treated two by four. So that's gonna be the big investment in wood. And this section here, maybe about six feet. Um, maybe I'll get some uh, thin uh, one by fours, uh, pressure treated beams to cover these up. This is all dry here. So we'll maybe take some of this off and then we'll cover it up like it was done here. This seems to be holding up nicely. So yeah, this is not really the proper way of doing this, but this is just a quick restoration on the budget. We'll get some a solid uh, deck paint, so that will hopefully hold up for a couple of years, and we'll go from there. So I'll show you guys how I'm prepping this in a minute. Torching the deck seems to be the way to go. This was only a few seconds and with the brush, the paint came right off. The only thing is you gotta be really cautious, have an extinguisher handy or your water hose. You know, you are messing with high uh, heat fire. You don't wanna burn your deck or your house down. So, you know, I don't recommend this option. You know, obviously power washing uh, is good. The reason I don't wanna power wash because I wanna paint this in the next week and this deck will stay soaked forever if I do that. So I'll mess around with this a little bit, see how it goes, and we'll finish it with the sander. That's what I mean. Paint comes right off. Once we get all this off, we'll let it dry for a day or two. Probably maybe do some finishing touches with the sander. And then we'll hit it with the paint. So yeah, this is definitely a manual process. Uh, it's gonna take forever by hand like this. But my power washer is only one of those 1500 PSI, which is not strong enough to remove this paint. So if you have a strong power washer, yeah, definitely go with that. That's the, pro that's the progress so far. It's definitely a pain to remove. This paint is, who knows, 20 years old. Um, the wood actually looks decent, most of it. If I can get it dry enough, I'm thinking possibly stain it if I can get most of the paint off. I resorted to using this grinder with this white brush as well, in addition to the regular brushes. Sander will be the finishing. Uh, this is day two right now. Still got a lot of deck to go. But I'm not going to do the stairs. Stairs look solid, except replace that one. Just got to replace the sides. So, yeah. So, 
work somewhat. Wear a mask when doing this. All right, still working on removing the paint. There's a paint, but I started putting the reinforcements on the one by four beams, pressure treated on any weakness parts or any wood that's been beaten up a lot. Yeah, I also filled in all the gaps in the wood and stuff with the uh, foam for gaps and cracks, just to make sure there's no chance for moisture and stuff getting in there. But this was one hole in there and stuff like that. Gonna pop this out and we'll continue with this and then we'll finish the paint on a quick dip the reason i'm not doing a full deck of renovation right now because these handful of beams right here and these two by fours cost me about 160 dollars at today's prices so and if this is just the cost for the little touch outs can't even imagine what a deck would cost that will be in a couple years guys deck is prepped that is as far as i'm going burnt it i brushed it i sanded it i left it at 80 grit which is plenty and it's actually pretty cool i don't want it to be perfect because this wood isn't so these are the two attached up here the railings reinforced that's going to be black later once i finish building them but this is what we're using I was going to paint i decided to stain it this is transparent and the reason I went with transparent is because when I was reading the reviews on homedepot.com the semi-transparent basically is paint it covers the wood almost fully so I want this wood to be visible this is a redwood finish so hopefully it's gonna give it a red tint to kind of blend in any red paint that doesn't want to come out but it should look cool and if it doesn't oh well this is just for two three years another the wood prices stabilize and then we can rebuild the deck so that will be a fun build let's stain it now so as you guys see it looks pretty cool with the red tint the wood is still see-through i'm hoping these bubbles will go away two light coats and that should do it a can covers 300 square feet. This deck is 10 by 15. So we will show you guys when the second coat is done. So here's what's looking at so far first coat. It actually looks really cool, guys. Transparent is definitely the way to go uh, for the burnt wood. It's a finish I'm doing at least. Forgot to mention, don't do like a little section to go this way. Do each beams lengthwise all the way so you don't have any overlapping of this thing. So, yeah, I'll show you guys the second coat shortly. It's getting dark. Quick clip to show you the second coat as it's drying. I mean, I think it came out amazing. Three days to fully cure dry, but it's ready for rain in four hours, which is great because I think I might have some rain tomorrow. But yeah, this is going to come out great. So now we can work on the sides while this dries. And yeah, let's get this done. And here's the deck the next morning. Came out awesome. So now we just install the banisters and get this stuff painted. And we'll be all set. The floor is looking good. This is day three of it. Uh, 
had about a week delay because of the rain. I started getting some coats of paint on this now and we're gonna start doing banisters. I wanna show you guys how the deck looks now after about a week. So this stuff is looking pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get in here with a little brush later, touch these up because I couldn't get in there with the roller. But yeah, I'll get that finished up and show you guys the finished product. Also, I installed this little uh, awning, whatever you call it. So I'm, I made a how-to video on that, I'll post it soon. So you can check that out, it's pretty cool. Get the rain and the sun out. I'm gonna put one there and one over there. All right guys, be back soon with the finished product. All right guys, the deck is finished. So I went with the black for all the outside pieces. And then, like I said, I stained the deck. It's been a few weeks actually since I finished this. I still have to do one coat of black paint, but the problem is it's constantly heat wave. It's constant uh, rain. So I just can't get to it, right? Um, but it came out great. I'm really happy. Uh, let me show you what it looks like after a few weeks. I want to say about a month now. I do have to hit over another coat of black, so remember that. But um, here's what we're looking at. It's holding up great. The wood looks solid for old wood. I'm really happy with this. Um, this is the replacement boards I did. They blended in nicely. So this was pressure treated wood. Here's all the reinforcements I did. Um, replaced these beams with the fresh uh, two by fours and painted everything up and looks solid. Got the table back up here. Put this little bench here from uh, uh, reclaimed wood. Uh, we picked up with a quick job. And I installed this little thing, uh, which has been working out great and keeping the rain out of our doors when we open it. I'm gonna install another one of my uh, entrance to the garage, which I'll make a video of. So that's it guys. Hope you like this. Uh, gives you ideas for your own build. That was my goal. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know. Thumbs up, and we got more coming.